Your healthcare provider has determined that you will participate in a home sleep apnea test. The Cadwell Apnea Track will collect data on your breathing and snoring while you sleep. A qualified sleep technologist should have already attached the electrodes to your scalp in the correct locations. Keep the electrodes in the locations they were placed. If any electrodes pull off, you can often push them back into place or call your medical provider for further instructions. If your provider gave you specific instructions, follow those instructions first. As you prepare for your home sleep test, please check the contents of your kit. Verify you have the apnea track, a chest belt cable with a blue input and two black connectors, an abdomen effort belt, an abdomen belt cable with a yellow input and two black connectors, a snore sensor cable with a purple input and a purple disc sensor, an airflow cannula with clear tubing, an airflow sensor cable with a light gray input and a T-shaped sensor, an oximeter finger sensor, adhesive tape, and the patient instruction manual. If your provider has already sized the belts and connected them to the device, skip to the chapter Wearing Your Apnea Track. Adjust the chest belt to a tighter fit than you need using the plastic adjustment rings. Place the chest belt around your chest and fasten the buckle. Loosen it to a snug, comfortable fit. Remove the belt to finish the setup. Orient the chest belt so that the black input jacks face down. Orient the apnea track with the text facing up and connect the apnea track to the chest belt near the buckle by sliding the belt up under the clip on the back of the apnea track. To remove the port cover, press on the arrow and slide the panel down. The sensors are color-coded to match the connection ports on the apnea track. Connect the blue input from the chest belt cable into the blue port. Connect the yellow input from the abdomen belt cable into the yellow port. Connect the gray input on the thermal sensor cable into the gray port. Connect the purple input on the snore sensor cable into the purple port. Connect the white input from the EXG cable into the white port. Plug the black connector from the finger oximeter sensor into the black port. Replace the port cover. Press the oximeter cable through the hook on the side of the apnea track. Fasten the abdomen belt around your stomach, across your belly button, with the two black ports facing up. Place the chest belt around your chest and fasten the buckle. Connect the two black cables from the chest belt into the jacks on both sides of the chest belt buckle. Ensure that the chest and abdomen belts stay in place when you are standing. Connect the two black cables from the abdomen belt into the jacks on both sides of the abdomen belt buckle. Insert the gray thermal sensor away from you through the holder on the cannula. Holding the cannula with the prongs facing towards you and curving down, insert the ends of the prongs into your nose and pull the cannula tube and thermal cable back over your ears like a pair of glasses so that the wire sits in front of your neck where it connects. Slide the tension adjusters up the cannula tubing and the thermal cable. This should not be tight or uncomfortable. Tear off two small pieces of tape and secure the tubing and wire to your cheeks. Twist off the cap on the end of the cannula tubing and attach the cannula by gently twisting the tube onto the metal connector on the top of the apnea track. Tear off a strip of tape and stick it to the purple side of the snore sensor. Place the blue pad of the snore sensor against the skin on your neck and push the tape down to ensure the sensor is secure. Use extra tape if needed. Place the oximeter finger sensor on the index finger of either hand with the cable running over the back of your hand. Your finger should go to the end of the sensor, but not through the cutout at the end. If it is too tight on the index finger, choose a smaller finger. If the cable hangs loosely, tape the oximeter cable to your shoulder and elbow. If there is no slack, tape it just to your hand. Close your hand into a fist, 
then tape the cable to the back of your hand. Do not wrap tape around your finger, as this will restrict blood flow and reduce signal quality. If your provider set an auto start time, you don't need to do anything to start the recording. Just go to bed and the device will start at the correct time. If your provider instructed you to hold the button to start the recording, then press and hold the raised Cadwell logo event button for three seconds until the recording REC indicator LED on the apnea track appears. The LEDs will then turn off, but the recording has been activated. If any cable disconnects, simply plug it back in and the recording will continue. To record an event for review, press the raised Cadwell logo event button once to mark an event in your sleep study data. Write down the time and the reason of the event for your physician to review. To check if the device is recording at any time, push the event button and the recording LED will illuminate for a few seconds. If you feel uncomfortable, you can move the apnea track to either side of your chest, but please leave it on the front of your body to correctly record your body position during sleep. Please refer to the patient guide provided with your apnea track system if you have any additional questions on setting up the system. If you need to use the bathroom, remove just your oximeter finger sensor. Wash and dry your hands and replace the oximeter finger sensor when you're done. The recording will end automatically. You can remove the sensors in any order. If you were instructed to use the apnea track for more than one night, use new pieces of tape and replace the cannula for each night. Do not attempt to clean the components. Replace all components into the carrying case and return the apnea track system to your healthcare provider. Thank you for watching this apnea track patient instruction video and good night.